Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and this is the first episode of a multi-part tutorial on the Massive X by Native Instruments. In the following I would like to give you an overview of the structure of Massive X. Have fun! Here on the top we find this magnifying glass symbol, the category and the name of the loaded sound. If we click on it, a browser opens where we can choose a category on the left and a sound on the right. Let's start with the bass sound named Ampex Muscle. Okay, that's why it's called Massive X. Let's add a synth pad and here we go to Negative Matter. And let's add a sound effect. Why don't we go to Spacecraft? Oh, sounds nice. Okay, let's load a very simple sound. We go to Quick Start and load the Init Massive X. And here we see our main wavetable oscillators. Two of them. And let's listen to the first one. And we can shape the sound uh, or morph it from a sinus to a rectangle. And in addition, uh, you have this uh, wavetable modes. So here it starts with a simple filter, but then you also have crazy stuff like Gorilla with uh, different sub modes so the gorilla has the sub mode king kang and kong uh, let's go back to standard because we have here more than 150 wave tables let's go to monster and let's listen to holkopf i like holkopf And now you can combine this with a gorilla. So endless possibilities to shape your sound. And this is just one oscillator. You have two of them. Here's the second one. And here you have the same possibilities. In addition to the oscillators, you have a noise generator. For sure, this is the normal white noise. But if you click here where it says white, you can change it to waterfall, glass, traffic. Listen to traffic. Uh, machines. Oh, nice. Diesel. I want to listen to the diesel. And uh, environment like um, bubble, ice, water. Let's listen to this. Yeah, and you can mix two of them, so you can mix the ice water with the white noise. And that's pretty cool. Uh, next stage is the filter. The most normal filter, I would say, is the SVF. Let's go to this. Listen to our whole cop. Let's bring up the volume here. All right. And with filter and resonance, we can filter the sound. And there are different filter types that sounds really great, like comp, for example. Yeah, great stuff. I like it. And um, here we have three effects where we can shape again the sound with a ring modulator, for example, or with a bit crusher. Oh, very nice, but you have three of them. And here you have the classic effects like reverb. And uh, let's say we take the delay, stereo delay. Oh, wonderful. And here on the bottom, you see whatever you click. So let's click here the E's, E1, E2, E3 in blue. And now we see the envelope and the first envelope is uh, fixed routed fixed connected to the volume to the level so let's go down with the sustain and with the decay we can say how fast we go down i'm not so happy that we don't have graphic feedback on what we're doing but i'm sure this will follow very soon. So we have three uh, envelopes. And if I want to connect the second one, 
with the filter, for example. Let's load again the filter and bring it down a little bit. And we have here these three crosses. So I go to E2, the cross that is on top of E2, and I move it on the first square. You see these three squares here. So we move it there. And now we click on it and move the mouse to the right. And now we have the envelope for the filter. So in addition to the envelopes, we have the LFOs. There are great LFOs. This is the switcher LFO, where you have different shapes for the LFO. But there's also a random LFO. We can do crazy stuff with it. But even more crazy is the performer. Here you have like a sequencer in your plugin. So uh, these are eight bars. Let's bring it down to two bars. And here you have wonderful tools where you can make things like this, or this is more like you know it from Ableton, this, this pencil tool in Ableton. Um, or you can do rhythmic stuff like this. You see how fast and easy you can do uh, inspiring things here. I really like it a lot. Now let's click on voice. Here you can do simple stuff like transposing the sound. You can say how much your pitch band goes up or down. You can go to legato and make a gliding sound. Here unison is nice. Uh, you can make more than one sound to make it more bright. Uh, and here with the spread, you can detune different oscillators. And there's a crazy feature. You can uh, morph to a chord. So here is C major as the chord. And now we move or we morph from uh, the spread sound to the chord. The audience is listening. But the most crazy tool is the routing. Because in fact, the whole Massive X is a modular synthesizer. You can patch everything. You go from oscillator one with the cable to uh, the filter, for example. So if we go to the init massive X blank, nothing is patched. That's why we don't hear anything. And you can patch everything from the scratch. Oscillator one to the output. Now we hear something. So this makes it really a powerful tool because you can do everything what you would do with a modular synthesizer. But we come to this more in detail in another tutorial. Uh, please tell me what you think about the Massive X. Tell me how you like this tutorial. Write me if you have any questions, just write me in the comments. Thank you for watching. My name is Thomas Foster and if you like producing music then you probably need regular audio loops. So good sounding drum loops, percussion, guitar, vocal and many other samples. And there is a new exciting web page I'm involved in developing, Mutant.com. Mutant is a search engine for audio loops and samples. The stuff sounds really great and is well produced and mastered. The incredible thing is that all thought Mutant actually sees itself as a web shop. At the moment almost all sounds are free. You do not have to enter an email address. Just go to mutant.com, search for the desired audio file and click download. And it's really fun to work with. At that point I say thank you for being there, always stay creative, cheers! Mm -hmm.